second day of the semi-finals in 1993 and here they come the eagles of manly led out by des hasler are they grand final bound many people believe the winner of this particular semi-final can go on and do what canberra did in 1989 come from the bottom and take out the top Will he explode today, Alan Langer? Been the sinister of criticism in recent weeks over his tackling. That will be far from his mind today. Let's have a look at the Eagles, and here they come on your screen. Cleary at the back. Hancock Moore, Devereaux Elsgood. Lions and Hasler, the halves. Alexander Roberts, the front. O'Donnell between them. Then Iro Jones, the second rowers. Cunningham will lock them from the back and Bobby Fulton is the coach. It's exit. Des Hasler from the Winfield Cup. Is it today or will he be back next weekend? There's the Broncos. And Neil Hancock. Khan in the centres with John Saylor. Walters Langer Lazarus carried the hooker. Hone the other prop. Gilmeister Cairn in the second row. Madison the back of the scrum. Wayne Bennett the coach. Kelly Walters and Greg McCallum the man with the whistle he's the front runner for the grand final he blows time on the second of the semi-finals is underway the crowd roars as the ball goes down to young sailor barrage of manly defense puts him away Lazarus now Lions leaps high and comes off second best. Mark Hone. Round 13 at Brookvale saw Manly 24, Brisbane 8. Brisbane would def uh, very depleted on that occasion though. In fairness to them, Gilmeister almost wore the knee of Ian Roberts right in the centre of the back accidental I hasten to point out Langer waits it it bounces on the 20 and clearly brings it back Kevin Walters takes the ankles from under him we're on the 30 metre line Jack Elsgood Dally M rookie of the year announced only today Iro runs decoy Alexander goes to a very wide blind they're back on their own 40 metre line the Eagles Roberts the big fella going to the ground. He's been in superb form. Now Hasler comes from the right, works to the left, looks for the opening, picked up by Kevin Walters and put down again. This is the last. Cleary. He's swirling around down there. It's of no great advantage to either. Julian O'Neill, only eight metres away from his own line. The end of the season for one of these teams today. This is Sailor. He's had a good start, Wendell Sailor. He took the football from the kickoff, which would have been the best thing that could have happened for him. An early touch coming in from the far wing to take the pressure off his side. He goes back into position now. Big ask for Sailor to come into this semi final, but no dramas as yet. Match I referred to back in round 13, won by Manley. The day that Brisbane were, were out um, with us. Langer, Lazarus, Kevin Walters, Hancock and Calm. They're on test duty as Langer kicks. And again, the ball very deep in Manley's area for Ivan Cleary to bring it back out. Fending away from Mark Hone. But Kevin Walters, his chase has been very good and his tackling has been superb. Devereaux finds some open space. Makes a run of 30 metres, comes to O'Neill and beats him. Lazarus makes a grand tackle. Hancock is there now for Manly. Oh, Glenn Lazarus. How would he have got there? His play goes a blind through Hasler once again. But the man who, who missed uh, Devereaux was Willie Carney out there in the centres. Roberts. Little smell of a chance in the nostrils. He takes it to the 20 metre line. Hasler. Lions, Iroh the decoy, Devereaux the ball carrier. 
Let him go, let him go. 15 out from the line. Lyons indicating will go to the air. Steps off his left, throws the dummy, takes the tackle. That's the turnover. And already Clippy Lyons has thrown a few of these magic passes. Devereux didn't really put Devereux into a gap a couple of minutes ago. Devereux had to beat Khan. He did that with a big right foot step. So danger out wide there for man, for, uh, for Brisbane if Cliffy Lyons and Devro combine. And that's the value, isn't it, Paul, of Cliff Lyons, the attraction that he gets from defences. He actually took some some defence away there from John Devro, put Khan in two minds. He was beating all ends up. Tremendous work. Great step inside O'Neill. What about the tackle from Lazarus? And then Hancock did well to be in support. As Wendell Saylor again gets involved. A few chinks just starting to appear in both sides. This is Ken. Two tries he scored on this very ground in the grand final last year. Will he get the chance to emulate those, uh, those feats in three weekends from now? It all hinges on today. Nothing really brings out the rugby league enthusiasm higher than sudden death football. And Sensor, clearly playing at 18 out from his own line. Devereaux from a standing start. Gilmeister hit him low and hit him hard. Super tackle by Gilmeister. John Jones. Have a look at this tackle. This low a, by Gilmeister. Perfect rugby league tackle there, executed by one of the best in Gilmeister. Roberts goes down under the tackle of Gilmeister low and over the top was Kevin Walters. Cunningham. It's interesting, Ray, you're talking about sudden death football. You've got to go in with, with the right mentality. You can either go in and not want to make mistakes to stay alive or really throw caution to the wind. Both of these sides out there is a good kick finds touch from Ivan Cleary. Won't take any prisoners. They'll, they'll go for it. They'll realise that the only way they can stay alive is to score points. Five minutes gone, Manly and Brisbane. It's nil all. They've played once in the finals, these two sides, back in 1990. It was in the minor semi-final. Brisbane defeated Manly 12-4 that day. The big men ready to pack. Langer to work at McCallum having a chat to them. This is the first scrum of the match. Sailor in from his right wing. Interesting that Sailor went there and, and Chris Johns is the next man to be involved. So they pushed Kevin Walters out wider. There's Johns getting involved now. So thinking to get some speed men in there and Try and eat up as many metres as they can in their own danger area. Just outside the 20 metre line, Kerrin Walters decides that it's time for a dummy half run early. It's a gain of 10 metres, there was no defence existent, and a penalty goes to Brisbane, manly inside the 10 metres. Well, he's let play flow on for uh, seven minutes, McCallum, before finally giving a penalty. That's uh, the wide shot showing what McCallum saw. Yeah, he got Cunningham for being on the other side of the ruck. Now the ball was actually travelling out to the open. We've got uh, Cunningham being offside on the blind. Steve Roach, in these kind of games, I'm always keen to know what the talk is like in the sides out there. You're down right next to them. Yeah, the Brisbane side, to me, look a bit flat. The thing that impresses me most about the Manly side is that they had numbers a couple of times. Brisbane have had numbers a couple of times, and their scrambling offence is a fine feature of their game. They're very good at scrambling. Brisbane now. Deep inside Manly's territory, inside the 20 metre line, Kevin Walters holds it back for Khan. Khan gets a pass away, they're five metres out from the line now. Kevin Walters plays the ball, Langer, Langer, dangerous around here. Three metres away, crash to the ground. Kevin Walters appealing to his captain for a quick play of the ball. Kevin Walters holds it back, gets it away, Madison, Madison, out the back, a magic pass. Walters gets the try, Terrett Walters. Madison's pass out the back. It was a ripper of a pass. Yes, and Kevin Walters heavily involved as well. He's looking after this person, so he's getting them going, Kevin. This is a beautiful inside ball here. He holds it up and inside to Madison. Where has he plucked this one from? Kerridge is trailing on the inside, and Maddow's pulled one from nowhere. And Walters' first try to the Broncos. A touch of inspiration there. So much talk about the, the work of Cliff Lyons. Maybe we underestimated Kevin Walters in not talking about him enough. His ball play is very, very good. None better than Terry Madison. And now he gets the chance to convert the try scored by Kerrod Walters. 
Madison doesn't miss those. Brisbane finding him to be an easy target. Now Kevin and now Tony Island. He decides to flick it out the back. David Alexander knocked on. McCallum saw it. Well, that's a bad mistake made by Manly in their own half. And the kind of play there where you have to dive on the football. You can't make mistakes down this end. He didn't get a good ball, Alexander. He's really just got to get down on that one and make a bird of it. Well, it was a bad pass by Ira to put pressure on them. Certainly, but Alexander had a chance to clean it up and he hasn't done so. Now Brisbane start to do it again. He's been down there and put it over the line just a couple of minutes ago. Langer running, looking for Khan, finding him. 28 metres out from the Manly line. Played by Willie Khan. He's playing in the centres today. Lazarus gets it to the 20 now. Karen Walters, he knows Roberts is in a penalty zone, really. Madison, Madison, Manley's defence has been awful. Home turns it in, Gilmeister takes it ahead. Eight metres out from the line. Manley reeling under the pressure now. Langer across for Kevin Walters. Now Khan, Devereaux takes him. Hancock comes back in, away from one, away from two. been the wrong wing in the wrong spot two times today those last two times he's handled the ball he should have just given the ball straight away he's been some, the first time Mick Hancock handles the ball he beats about six now he's home out wide O'Neill went back inside he might have been better served to stay on the outside of home look for the short pass well, on the first occasion home had men on the outside what about the footwork from Terry Madison just to set him up he beat three defenders with steps off either foot he's had a, a, a great start to this game as he's setting up the first try, but his involvement's outstanding also. And here's a penalty to Manly. Gene Miles, the Broncos do look fired up today. Yeah, well, that was exactly the start that they were after. That They mentioned that in the dressing room, that they need to get away to a good start. And the key to the success of Terry Madison over the current weeks has been that he's been getting himself out wide. And uh, once again on that occasion, he's outside Kevin Wallace and changing the point of attack. Well, I spoke to Bob Fulton during the week. He actually told me they did fear Terry Madison quite a deal because of the fact he's running now with the football in both hands. Manly, 10 metres into Brisbane's territory. The ball comes out of the grasp of Jones. It goes loose. It'll be a knock-on. Well, talk about pressure passes. What about this one? I think Alexander was the man who threw it. Yeah, well, Kerrod Wallace has come up with a great hit here on a, on a bigger man. Yeah, great work, Kerrod. Brisbane with the ball. 35 out from their own line. Willie Khan. Played centre quite a number of years ago. Now, talking of Kerrod Walters, he's into a hole and his brother follows him in. And that is unbelievable. There was a breakdown of communication from the play. The ball, Langer was trying to find a runner, and all of a sudden, 30 metres down the track, they've made a bust. The brothers Walter, they're having a tremendous game. Now from Langer, out to Kevin. Johns has taken 35 out from the line. Some of the passes from the 5'8", Kevin Walters, have been gems. Madison on the short side. Alan Cairn brushes away from the feeble attempt. Madison carries it on. It's with Gilmeister. He promotes to the 20. Looks outside for Julian O'Neill. Now it's Sailor going infield and brought down 15 out. It's played on the last, but it's a penalty to Brisbane. Penalty to the Broncos. And will they take the quick tap like they, they've shown they have in the past? Looks like they will, they're off. Langer deciding to stretch it wide on that first play. Kevin Walters is tackled in the centre of the park. They're 11 metres out from the line. And Brisbane, can they put it over the line again? Julian O'Neill does the dance, gets away. Still going, he's into the corner. It's a try for O'Neill. Brisbane extend their lead. 10-0 now, 15 goals. Took the odds to it again. The Broncos has come off with them time and time again. Don't worry about the two points. Let's go for four or six. There's the penalty. Pulling him down. Only ten metres out. They had to take the quick tap. And then from here, O'Neill had a mile of work to do. There's plenty of manly defence there. Look at it. Moore slipped over. Then it was Lyons. Brushed him off. And Elsgood had gone in to make a tackle as well. going with 
the a little projectile. It didn't affect Madison. No goal, though. Brisbane happy. 10-0 in front after 16. Really calm. Bringing the ball back from the, the restart in play. Steve Roach. Yeah, Terry. Uh, Wayne Bennett, he must be very happy with this start. Yeah, it's a great start for the Brisbane Broncos. But just the thing on Terry Madison is he was having a shot at goal right on the sideline here. A lot of the fans were banging the sideboards. Now, a couple of weeks ago when the, the uh, Rugby Union played, Australia played uh, against South Africa, they put over the PA system that there'd be no noise while the goal kickers are having a shot. Well, Desi Hasler pulled that ball out. It, sh it should have been a penalty to Brisbane. That's what they were appealing about. This is a great opportunity now for Manly, keeping the ball alive with Devereux 30 out. It's been more than a satisfactory acquisition for Manly, John Devereux. Hasler working it away to the left and turning Alexander back into the centre. Alexander needed that play. He's had a pretty ordinary start after a great season. Lyons decides to wait it down into that corner. He turns them all around. It goes in touch in goal. So back to the 20 metre line for the restart now. With everything going Brisbane Broncos way at the moment. Uh, Manly turning over possession too many times. Giving away a couple of penalties. And, uh, Brisbane have capitalised on that. That's a simple fact. They're playing good football Brisbane. No nonsense. And uh, they're playing a very good brand of football. Working it up through the forwards. But there's a mistake. Oh no, he's got Manly. He's penalised the Eagles. Yeah, Cliff Lyons had a hand in there. He's, he's raked the ball out. Well, this is, you know, this is how Manly are going to dig their own grave by making these crucial mistakes. Now, as Cliffy has got his hand in there and raked it out. Referee only 10 metres away. He can't get away with it. Well, this is was very obvious either, wasn't it? Yeah. O'Neill with the line finder. Five metres into Manly's area. Talking to Ricky Stewart down on the sidelines earlier. He was named the Dally M Players Player and also the Dally M Gold Player of the Year. He said, I think the winner of our match next weekend will win the, uh, the Winfield Cup. So in other words, he's saying the winner of this match will play Canberra and uh, he thinks that the, the winner can come from down the bottom part of the table now. And holds both Manly and Brisbane, obviously, in high regard as Martin Weeks comes in with the flag aloft. Something involving Willie Kahn. And Willie Kahn and Danny Moore, I think, is the player. There's Kahn getting tackled. Danny Moore, well, there's a left hand. Almost an elbow. And the touch judge wasted no time in coming in. It will be a penalty for Manly and silly play by Kahn early in the tackle count. Well, it's just unforgivable when in position of the football, 15 metres out, then it will be filthy. Roberts. Jones. to note that in the final five, Brisbane are the only side that Manly have beaten. They went down to Canberra, they went down to, Canberra, they went down to St George. They to beat Brisbane. This is Cookie Lines. Now it's Jack Elsker. Lofting it over for Danny Moore. Got the pass away, that's OK. Lions across the back. Hazlers with the ball. Hand off the Roberts. Likewise for O'Donnell to the halfway line. Oh, great Brisbane defence. They're covering the whole field here. As soon as the ball's going past each individual, they're still chasing, they're still running. Lions. Madison got himself in the row. Jones off for Devereaux. Devereaux's kick. O'Neill has it cleaned up. And he's on his way back up the park. Uses Sailor. Ooh. Pass. Wendell Saylor tackled on the 20 metre line. Well, he's just justified his selection in the side with one catch of the football because he, he was put under plenty of pressure there. And Michael, o, Michael Hancock now comes in to. Let's have a look at this pass from Julian O'Neill. It goes behind Saylor. And that's great hands because if the ball goes to ground, there were three Manly players ready to swoop. Knock on there in the 
play the ball. Kieran Walters blowing up. Once again, there's a hand in the tackle there by Ian Roberts. Well, I think that's three occasions that Manly have been guilty of that, and they've only been caught once. That was pick lines on the far side. Hasler got away with one earlier, and Roberts has made that one the second. Manly now. Lions trying to get around the defence, but Johns, one of the best defenders in the game, makes the tackle. Lions had no markers. Takes it to the 20 metre line. Danny Moore's there to support it. Came off the shoulder of Devereaux. Went out to Alexander. He's tackled 22 metres out, centre of the park. Manly grouping up for this attacking raid. Pass was forward, I thought. Iroh got the ball away out to Cleary. Cleary comes back and lots it back across the field. Oh. Roberts puts it down. Crunching tackle. Who do you reckon it was? It'll be Gilmeister. Of course it is. He's fired up, Gilly. Hang up. Kevin Walters, Kevin Walters looks inside, finds Julian O'Neill. With this great tackle here, Roberts is unsighted. In comes Gilmeister and Samasha Rooney. Trippy Lyons is not well in back play as the ball goes out to Alan Langer. Madison tries to fend them off, got the pass back. There's Hasler. He was getting up off the, off the haunches. He found the ball in his hands. Now it's David O'Donnell across the back from Iro. Lyons looks for his winger. It's Jack Elskud on Wendell Saylor. And Elskud goes to ground five metres his side of the halfway. He's in trouble, Lyons. He can hardly pass that ball then. Still clutching his chest. Devereaux with the ball. Gets the pass away. Cleary tries to get through, but Langer's there to put him away with Lazarus. Both teams are really throwing the ball around, but the difference is that Manly aren't finding players in space as John James that's the kind of charges they need that will set some room up for the next play at the moment Brisbane finding much more room to move against this manly defence Hasler handoff O'Donnell looks out wide finds Devereaux two on two here Hancock came up quickly it's Hancock on Hancock in fact play it is that'll play the ball a Hancockathon a Hancockathon across now for Hasler this is Lyons off the halfway mark. Oh, look, he's gone. He's gone. gone. Yeah, that's a voluntary tackle. Well, it's, it's a hand over anyway. For penalty. He's, got a, he's got a stomach ache there. Well, he must, have, he must have a broken rib or something to be that bad. This is a big blow to Manly. Anything they've done has come from Clippy Lyons' uh, genius around the rucks is magic. Here goes Kerrod Walters again from dummy half. Another 15 metres. Shovels the ball away to his brother. Then it goes to Chrissy Johns. And Johns is down to the 22 metre point. Walters, Madison, back. The dummy half stayed alive. Chris Johns, who played the ball, did likewise. 25 metres out from the manly line now. 10 mil is the scoreline. Langer. Langer. 15 out from the line. Brisbane really looking dangerous. Lyons has gone off the park. And Madison takes the shot. And uh, Cliffy Lyons has been replaced by Cole Bentley, the former Penrith player. The Penrith stalwart had a good season in second grade with the Eagles this year. It's somewhat surprising. Paul, I thought, with Gene Namu. I know that he's had a full game in reserve grade. And you'd have thought that he, he would have come on. A more defensive move by Bob Fulton than an attacking one. Well, he might think, of course, that Bentley's got a lot more experience, but Gene Miles is on the sideline. Yeah, Cliffy Lyons' problem is uh, rib cartilage, and uh, that was uh, accustomed to uh, a nice tackle by Chrissy Johns earlier. Can it is that plays it. Langer shoveling the ball on for Kevin Walters, and now Johns away from Danny Moore, gets inside the 20 metre line, pulled down from behind by Bentley Brisbane wide, they've got a cluster of forwards out in the centre, but Sailor won't need them he's over the line Sailor gets their third Brisbane 14 to nil now what a beautiful piece of play by Kevin Wallace, he threw this ball magnificent play by the Broncos they're carving Manly up today. Look at this. He takes it in, draws in three Manly players, and Sailor's just about got a con. A Hancockathon. A cross now for Hasler. This is Lyons off the halfway mark. Oh, look, he's gone. He's gone. Now, that's a voluntary tackle. Well, it's, it's a handover anyway. He's got a 
got a he's got a stomach ache there. Well, he must have he must have a broken rib or something to be that bad. This is a big blow to Manly. Anything that they've done has come from Clippy Lines' uh, genius around the rucks is magic. Here goes Kerrod Walters again from dummy half. Another 15 metres. Shovels the ball away to his brother. Then it goes to Chrissy Johns, and Johns is down to the 22 metre point. Walters, Madison, back. The dummy half stayed alive. Chris Johns, who played the ball, did likewise. 25 metres out from the Manly line now. 10 mil is the scoreline. Langer. Langer. 15 out from the line. Brisbane really looking dangerous. Lyons has gone off the park. And Madison takes the shot. And uh, Cliffy Lyons has been replaced by Cole Bentley, the former Penrith player. The Penrith stalwart had a good season in second grade with the Eagles this year. It's somewhat surprising. Paul, I thought, with Gene Namu. I know that he's had a full game in reserve grade, and you'd have thought that he, he would have come on. But a more defensive move by Bob Fulton than an attacking one. Well, he might think, of course, that Bentley's got a lot more experience, but Gene Miles is on the sideline. Yeah, Cliffy Lyons' problem is uh, rib cartilage, and uh, that was uh, accustomed to uh, a nice tackle by Chrissy Johns earlier. Canada's that plays it. Langer shoveling the ball on for Kevin Walters, and now Johns away from Danny Moore, gets inside the 20-metre line, pulled down from behind by Bentley. Brisbane wide, they've got a cluster of forwards out in the centre, but Sailor won't need them, he's over the line! Sailor gets their third. Brisbane 14 to nil now. What a beautiful piece of play by Kevin Wall as he threw this ball. Magnificent play by the Broncos. They're carving Manly up today. Look at this. He takes it in, draws in three Manly players, and Sailor's just about got a clear run to the line. Else could probably could have done better, but Sailor too quick. Well, actually, they only had the one marker there in Cleary, and, and he went across, and that meant there was always going to be room back with Kevin Walters' vision. That was the big play. Madison with the attempt for conversion from a wide angle. Steve, uh, Steve Roach on the sidelines. Yeah, Ray, it's around the middle of the ruck that uh, Brisbane are causing Manly the most trouble. The, Ker the Walters brothers and Alfie Langer have got such a great understanding. They've played together in Ipsh Ipswich all their lives and uh, great understanding. Lazarus carries the ball back from the, uh, the restart and they're tremendous metres, 22 of them. Criticism of this big fellow Lazarus, sometimes it's amazing. You'll make a cover tackle or make a sprint. Hancock with no markers on Manly. They're proving a real worry for Bobby Fulton. The thing that they've done best all season, and that is to defend, has fallen out the window. Three tries scored against them. 11 and a half minutes of the first half remaining. Can. 45 out from the line, standing, not held. Away it goes through. Kevin, a Kevin Walters out to Kevin. He goes into a giant hole. Here's Madison. He's on his way. Elskot brings him down. Is it a double movement? Is it a double movement? I don't think it is, and he's done his shoulder. Try has been awarded. Madison's done his shoulder into the bargain. Yes, the Broncos players calling for help here. To Terry Madison, another wonderful try to the Broncos. Kevy Walters, oh, he's like a butcher. He's carving them up everywhere today. Simple dummy, and away he went, but Terry is in a lot of trouble there. Well, all too easy. This try coming, just poor defence out wide, and Kevin Wallace throwing the dummy. You see him come across here, as we freeze it. That's the man there, David O'Donnell, has come up out of the line and left a gap that Wallace has come out the other side of. A sparing dive from Hasler. Good work here going across and coming back inside Madison. That changed the point of attack. Desperate dive. Now, the momentum has taken him across. He did not promote the football himself. That is a try. Yeah, lovely dummy by Kevy. David O'Donnell fell for it, came out of the line, left the gap there. Desi and John Jones couldn't get to him. The inside ball, he drew the fullback. And Terry just had enough pace to get away. Jack Elskut, a wonderful effort by him. 
And look at the pain on his face here. That left shoulder might have popped out. Just hope we don't get to see it used too often. Meantime, Julian O'Neill prepares to convert the Terry Madison try. 16 goals for the year for Julian O'Neill. He's already scored a try in the match so far. And that conversion attempt is right on line. And Brisbane giving Manly a real lesson at the moment. 20 points to nil. Manly doing something that they didn't particularly want to do very much of today. Once would have been nice. What's the story on Madison, Gene? Yeah, bad news for the Brisbane's uh, supporters, Ray. Terry Madison has a dislocated shoulder. Well, I'll let you think about that for a moment, Gene, and tell me what you think Bennett will do to fill that hole. Maybe it's already been uh, indicated out there right now with Peter Ryan on the field. Here's O'Neill again cutting a swathe through Manly. 40 metres out from the line. Langer's with it. He knows he's got the enemy on the ropes. And he's starting to run. He's starting to do all the things that we expect from Langer. He has set such a high standard for himself. You're going to have what you might call a good game by other standards and people wonder what he was doing for the day. Kevin Walters has been outstanding. So has Kerrod. That's pass. Was forward from Langer. Dropped onto the foot by Khan. Picked up by Cleary. I to say I disagree with a couple of things. Well, Greg McCallum, he's missed a couple of forward passes, I feel. But that's only my opinion against his, I suppose. Yeah, eventually the right result happening there with the Brisbane chases offside on that kick in front of Khan as he picked boot the ball. Now Manly, with only eight minutes left on the clock, they really have to get on the board. Trailing by 20, they've just got to get a lift somehow, and the best lift, of course, is to put six or 12 on in quick time. Alexander went galloping at the defence. The pass was a horror. Hasler picked it up. Dez is right on the halfway mark. Iro, Iro's given them a chance. Oh, Chris Ryan! That could have been anything. Penalty goes to Manley anyway. Good Inside advantage play. Ten. Sorry, Ray. Good advantage play there. He, he allowed. He saw the, the Brisbane players offside. Now he's let it go. Uh, Iroh's nearly created something out of nothing. If Ryan holds that one, he's into open space. And then the penalty. That's good referee. Roberts. Manley. Deep into Brisbane territory. Can they do it here? Hasler across the back. Bentley it was that gave that ball for Deborah. O'Donnell. Jones. Roberts. Roberts throws it out the back rather recklessly. Devereaux, he's not well. You saw him hobbling away out of the, the scene of the action. Brisbane come away with it with Willie Kahn. That's been Manly's problem. I don't think they've uh, finished a set of six today. Some of their passes have been nothing short of disgraceful, and they're throwing the ball anywhere, hoping. I and mean, it's not that is not the way to play semi-final football. And in inexperience in semi-finals is costing Manly today. Yeah, they're exact, that's exactly right. They're, they're not throwing the ball to somebody who's in a better position than themselves, are they? They've never seen so many passes go astray in trying to keep the ball alive just for the sake of doing so. Langer, driving it deep out of the far side of the stadium. You see the shadow lengthening across in that direction. And that's a great chase by Brisbane, but the tackle was too fragile. Cleary struggled back into the field of play. Craig Hancock. Yes, a great effort here by uh, Mick Hancock in the first place to grab Cleary. And then a good effort by Cleary, just as good to get out of that in goal. He beat the final the Hancock tackle and made it. And now Manly live. And Johnny Jones takes one up. Oh, gets crunched again. Lazarus over the top. Iro. Sterling, this Brisbane defence has been uh, super committed today, hasn't it? Well, that's the first thing I look for in the, the opening five or ten minutes. And when they haven't played well this year, they've been busted early in games. And it was echoed by Steve Roach's comments and, and Drew Miles saying that Wayne Bennett, the lead, they had to start well. And defensively, that's what you've got to base your game on. 
Um, you know, they've, they've hardly looked like being busted except on one or two occasions. Khan got a great ball, tremendous service from his inside backs. He was unable to get around John Devereaux, though. Devereaux's defence has been good today. It's Peter Ryan, right on the 40-metre line. Alan Can. Manly not shutting the ball down. Even there, Can could have got the pass away. Had the situation uh, been a bit more urgent for Brisbane, that it certainly is not. A lead 20 points to nil. Five minutes from half time. Langer runs to the defence line. The kick came off the boot of Iro. Not nullifying the tackle count. Let's take note of that. Kerrod Walters kicks ahead. Cleary cleans it up. Elsgood away from it now. Oh! Stadium to their feet, magnificent try. Jack Elsgood, pure pace, pure speed. And they were never going to catch Elsgood once he got into the clear. He had some good evasive skills early as well. And that'll give Manly a, a bit of hope going into the half time break. Look at this, he's beat a couple, he's beaten three in fact. Then he stands up, a, I think it's O'Neill, runs around him. And from there on, there hundreds to catch him. It's pure striding, isn't it? The, in, in fact, those two or three Brisbane players got in each other's road there. But Elsgood, he's, he's just... He's done a marvellous job there of, of putting his side's first points on the board. Chris Johns, who is no slouch, and it is tougher to, to run with the football than without it. You are quicker without the football. Johns didn't take a metre off him. This fellow, he kicks with great precision. Not this time, though. This is the sudden deather. You get beaten, you don't come back. Hancock, almost brutal with his treatment of the opposition. Then back slammed by Devereux. Gilmeister, out at the 40 metre line. The crowd will count it down. McCallum will blow it out, and we'll be back for more. After these players take a little break, Lang has been felled late. Put a punctuation on all of that. McCallum's going to give a penalty. Langer was shouldered late after kicking. I don't know that he's put his arm up yet. He's called the manly player out, Owen Cunningham. The question from McCallum is, was it high? You saw McCallum. He had his eyes right on the incident. He doesn't need the help of a touch judge who did come scampering in. The penalty goes to Brisbane. They find the line 18 metres away from the Manly line. If they can score off this play, it will demoralise Manly. Langer puts it in the air. The chase is on. Cleary goes up above the pack and brings it down like Kazali. 20 points to four. Brisbane leading Manly four tries to one. Bozo Fulton wasn't very happy with their ball control, obviously. He was telling his team, if you're going to promote the football, you've got to promote it to someone in a better position than you. And he wants his side. He said that they must score first in the second half. That might be a tall order, Steve, because Brisbane's defence has only let Manly to, uh, or twice to get through. And here we are with the opening exchanges of the second half and Cunningham, 25 metres out from his line crowd of I reckon around about 40,000 and that would delight the rugby league maybe a touch lighter than that and even then it's a very good crowd here at the headquarters of rugby league these days Cleary at the end of this tackle count puts it straight down the center of the park O'Neill gets a great bounce turning Michael Hancock back into the middle they're almost out to the 30. Hancock is proving very evasive today. Kerrod Wallace giving it up for Lazarus. 20 points to four. You heard it from Steve Roach. Bozo Fulton said it's a case of we must score first. Mark Hone 
Kerrod Wilders. Hadley's marker defence, it's just gone to sleep so many times. And surely they must know that they're playing against one of the best dummy half runners in the business. Here's Kevin Wilders now. Inside pass for Gilmeister. Good tackle over the top from John Jones. Right. Kevin Wilders. Willie Carr. Caught it and kicked it in one action. Scooped up by Michael Hancock. Now away to Kevin Wilders. Oh, shut the gate. Alan Cam. He's bolted over the line. He loves scoring at this end of the park. Well, it's all over now. 24 points to four. Merely had to score first. They have it. The Broncos have done it. The Broncos are a side who can produce a try from nothing. This is one of those situations. The little kick, not even a good kick by Khan. Just there, and uh, many players going everywhere, which way. And, of course, Brisbane, one of the best supporting sides in the league. Alan Cairn trailing on the inside, got the try. This is probably one of the best performances I've ever seen from Michael Hancock. He's a test winger, but his involvement's been great. The play should have broken down there with Cleary with the tackle on Hancock. He just couldn't come up with one. He's not built for tries, but he just gets them. Julian O'Neill, an easy one for him. Brisbane extend now, 26 points to four. Devereux, in and away, but really going ahead. Chris Ryan showed good hands there. And he had to. There's Hasler. Try as they might, Manly. Brisbane not giving them an opportunity to do too much damage. Jones, 28 out. They're in the centre of the ground, they go back left. Hasler, Bentley. Now Ryan! 15 away from the line. That was close. Cunningham, Hasler, back. They keep pumping away on that left-hand side. Their own left-hand side, I should say. Sailors with it for Brisbane, the mistake had to come. All this ball promotion lends itself to a pretty high mistake rate. 26 to 4, Brisbane in front. Another well, great job there from Sailor coming in off the wing at the right time. Get, got his hand in there, forced the mistake, and came up with the, the loose ball. Good wingers know when to come in when they're needed to come in, and that was one of the times. 8 7, the handling errors. Manly just on the worst side of that. Tony Iroh, he's kidding. Uh, smart play, but it's not Yeah, very smart. Nice. Tony Iroh is very, very experienced. He knew he was offside and still attempted to make the tackle. And Alfie, quick tap out to Chris Johns. Uh, you find Wallace going all the time when he sees a player out of position in the opposition. Iroh was a man caught that time. And again, a show of confidence, not kicking for touch. Just let's keep the roll going. Played by Mark Hone. Langer through Kevin Wilders. O'Neill comes in and makes the extra. Willie Kahn sees an opening. Then he gets the pass away, but Michael Hancock has given a moment of a pass, really. He fell over a manly tackler. And the Eagles come away off their own 20-metre line. Cleary thought about the long ball to stretch very wide to the left on the first play. Jones not coming off a big run like we, we know he can. And that's when he's most dangerous. Alexander. His legs working. Made good ground. Hasler. Time for the backs now. Bentley, Devereaux. Run on the halfway line. Khan's tackle was good. Bentley at the uh, acting half position. Takes the can tackle. Gives it for Hasler. He stands and offloads for Cleary. Put away by Hone. And again, no gain in ground. Five gone for Manley. O'Donnell to the short side. Cunningham got in the road. Bentley puts the kick in. O'Neill goes scurrying back to his own line. Cordon of defence is good. O'Neill tried to bust through himself. Sailor. Brisbane with some changes coming up, Gene. Yes, Ray, uh, Wayne Bennett thinks it's time for some fresh legs out there. And he's put uh, Andrew G and John Plath on, and Alan Cairn and Mark Hone will be leaving the field. 
As Jones coming up with a loose ball. Devereaux promotes it, but it's gone over the sideline. Has it? No. Craig Hancock taken by three Brisbane defenders, but it went forward. And a scrum will pack down. And the match uh, getting a few too many mistakes now with, first of all, Ryan throwing that bad pass to Jones. And Devereaux had his back turned and threw it mm, just anywhere. and you may not know, but you might be able to ask the question, what is the news on Renoff? Is there a possibility of him being back by the last weekend in September? Well, the injury is three weeks old today, Ray, so, um, you know, he's still got another two weeks and uh, five weeks. Well, Mark Brokenshire come back after five weeks after a, um, a broken jaw, so they're, they're very optimistic and, uh, you know, he's doing all the training, but uh, I don't think he could take a bump on it just yet. Langer. Langer stepped inside Jones, made further ground, gave it to Kevin Walters to take on, and now Chris Johns. 25 out from the line, they're ready to go on the attack again on the right. The wave is coming outside Langer, then can, and away, and put to ground is Peter Ryan. Langer again, Kevin Walters. Ball came off the hands of Andrew G, scooped away by Kevin Walters, through to Gilmeister on the plat. Inside the 20, Wendell Saylor puts the kick in. Cleary is there to clean up. Now he's offside, Lazarus. Yeah, he was. Brisbane throwing the ball around now at will, really, and Saylor put the kick in. Lazarus was in front of him all the way. Or was he? His ball's gone to Saylor. Well, it was touch and go, really. Alexander. Bentley. Didn't seem surprised earlier when Bentley was thrown into the game and not Gene Namu, Peter. Um, Bentley's more of, I thought, more of a defensive player. Oh, a mistake here from Tony. I, I, yeah, I'm of that opinion, Ray, and, and as we've said a couple of times over the last 24 hours, it, I don't like sitting here second-guessing coaches or, or telling them what selection should be made. But in my opinion, I was surprised yesterday, as there's the mistake from Iro, that Shadell wasn't put on. Stone came into the side when they needed to score points. And in this situation, Manly need to... And they're a long way behind and they need attacking players out there. I thought Gene Namu probably fit that bill a little bit better than Cole Bentley, who is an experienced player. I'll, I'll grant them that. Chris Jones. 40 metres away from the line. His team leading by 26 to 4. And it's very much a case of steady as you go for Brisbane. Andrew G is on the park. This is Gilmeister, a face bowl. Across for Lazarus, inside it goes for Kevin Walters. He's tackled 22 metres out from the line. Callum not happy with it. It's this pass okay to me he doesn't often uh, offload Lazarus but that was a, a very timely pass I thought but merely needs some breaks and need a lot of help Cleary trying to swivel away from Willie Khan's tackle Jones Des Hasler. Bentley went to the blind, but that didn't really help. It was three on three from the time he went that way. Alexander takes a crunching tackle uh, right on the halfway mark from uh, Glenn Lazarus. Cleary. Sailor. Just now, if you're manly, you've got to start looking at what the best ways are to score points. And that's probably looking to run the football on the fifth tackle, where maybe the defensive line is a little bit shorter for Brisbane. And that's not going to help their cause. Made the tackle down. The count again, Ian Roberts complaining. Michael Hancock continuing on his good work. 
the kicking game is always important. Maybe a little one over the top now or get in a position to, to put the bomb up to try and turn it into a lottery. But they've, they've got to turn to the areas that you have the most success in. And, and they're probably the two main ones. Lazarus. It's Andrew G. They're in the centre of the field. And they're just reaching the 20 metre line now as Kevin Walters gives it for John Platt. Platt runs around and through, turns it back, and another try. This time for Willie Kahn. Willie Kahn, the best winger in the world, playing in the centres today, takes Brisbane to 30 points to four now. And Brisbane's ability to keep the ball alive is uh, a result of this try. You see them going to the, the right side and Plath getting the football after he juggled it, Kevin, Kevin Walters. He frees the play there. Now you'll see that Chris Ryan has actually put his hand up and pointed to Desi Hasler, who just reacted a touch too late, and John Plath was through that gap. A little bit of tiredness coming in, a great pass back inside. But how many people could he have picked up? Kerrod Waller's there, Sailor's there. He opted for Willie Kahn. You see Chris Ryan is the man on the outside. He's to the left screen. He's actually pointing to Desi, who just couldn't get there in time. Two out of two for Julian O'Neill. It's 15 in from touch on the far side. Coming in nicely. Another two points to the Brisbane total. 32 points to four. Jack Elsgood, who from a similar position on the other end of the park, if you just joined us, scored a 90-metre try just on the other side of half-time. It was a beauty. Cunningham. Hasler. Oh, that's Gilmeister for sure, isn't it? The incredible part about Gilmeister is, and really for the smaller people in the game, it's worth noting, He's not a big man. With a huge heart, but a fairly small frame. Well, he's big where it counts, right? Oh, well, around the chest. Fair enough. As Devereaux starts to extend, Craig Hancock drops it onto the foot. Michael Hancock's with him. And they go together into the end goal. Michael gets up and comes away. Away from one, David O'Donnell wrestles with him. He decides to give it away for Julian O'Neill, who runs to Wendell Saylor's wing. He gets it well beyond the 20-metre line, and Jack Elsgood makes the tackle. Well, one Brisbane winger has picked it up. Now, just have a look. This is vintage Michael Hancock. Down, up, in the one motion, gets rid of Craig Hancock, gets into the field of play, then he veers right, and eventually Wendell Saylor ends up with the ball on the far side. They've come up with a mistake, Brisbane. As Craig Hancock gets replaced. They beat most wingers in, the, in this Winfield Cup would have been content just to be safe and take the tackle there in goal, wouldn't they? That was, it was brilliant. It's as simple as that. You know, you just, you couldn't have expected that much to come out of it. A simple clean-up would have been fine. He did far better than that. Jamie Olgenick is on for Manly. Ivan Cleary to play it in his last game for Manly. Heads for North Sydney next year. I don't think I'm premature in saying that. Chris Ryan got a great pass. I mightn't have been premature, but I'll tell you what. Manly have come back with another try just to put that little question mark in one's mind. And this is purely slack play by the Broncos. They made the mistake in their own danger area for a start. Then a few tackles later, Manly looks... That's a pretty ordinary defensive line there by Brisbane all over the place. That allows Manly a bit of room. Simple one-on-one -on -one defense there, and it was... Uh, who was number? Chris Johns who missed the tackle. Yeah, it might have been an ordinary defensive line, but they still had the numbers there, didn't they? It was still one-on-one. -on -one. Like Chris Johns has got a fairly easy tackle. And Chris Ryan, who's been very good since coming on for Cliff Lyons. He's Back into the battle, and Glenn Lazarus and Trevor Gilmeister are the two that I think are coming towards the showers. But they may go back into the match. 64 gone, 32 to 10 in favour of Brisbane. The players in the back of their mind, the job's been done to a, to a large degree, and, and you don't want to get hurt. You just want to get through it with the, the minimum of fuss. And if you've won by 20, who cares if you've won by 20 or 40? 
but I agree with you on the, on the mistakes depart, department. He still wouldn't want them seeing them miss easy tackles as Chris Johns did for the try and to drop footballs that should be caught. Ooh, gee. Lazarus is in a bit of trouble yeah, down there. He's not moving, Lazarus. He is now. Roberts and Lazarus are the two players down. And Lazarus. Ooh, oh, that left oh dear. The yeah, left ankle went under. But it's not going to be something that's going to keep him out of semi final football. He wants to be on the paddock next week. And for Brisbane's sake, he needs to be. His tyres look a bit flat in front, too. Like Lazo got on there. Play continues with Alan Cairn tackled. 31 metres out, just over two minutes to go. The injuries really have played a part in the Winfield Cup over the last three or four weeks. Some telling blows. Michael Hancock, is he going to get right through? Not quite, but my goodness, he's had a game, hasn't he, Mike Hancock? Gave points out of 10 for a winger's performance. He'd have to get the perfect score. Clearly puts it over the dead ball line. And Hancock has come away hobbling. What he's done today, he's done no silly things. We all know he's capable of playing some great football. This is a sensational run. But he's done none of those stupid things in play the ball areas that he's been capable of in the past. He's beaten about 20 of them there. And finally the ankle tap got him. But he's had a magnificent game. This will be the last set of six. Cleary from under the uprights with the line dropout. Julian O'Neill offers it for Andrew G. Will they score on this last six? Mark Hone, 30 out. No matter the result, and as I said to Frank Stanton earlier in the footy show today, it's been a magnificent resurgence by the Manly Club under coach Bob Fulton. And they went within an ace of having three teams, teams from all grades in the semi-finals. Yeah, Bob Fulton, magnificent job done by him this year. I know Chris Anderson has won the Coach of the Year award, but I'll tell you what, Bozo would be a nose behind in second. Langer quickly, Kevin Wilder's in. Julian O'Neill tried to get in and away. As the clock suggests, there's only five seconds remaining. This is the last. To the air will they go? No, Plath. Away from Dovey Half. Now Khan. Oh, there's too many there for Manly. Khan gets his second try. 36 to 10 on the very last second of the game. Yeah, nice way to finish for the Broncos. Willie Khan, he's, he's uh, gone into the centres today. He's had a fine game. He's done everything expected of him. Defensively, he was very good. He missed one tackle early, but he finishes off this movement. And uh, just too many numbers. Two and one there, and Khan beat a couple of feeble tackles over in the corner. And John Plass done very well too since he's been on today. Really Khan too much power for the Manly defence. Those that gave 26 and a half start, they breathe deeply as the ball sails wide. 36 points to 10. But more importantly, seven tries to two, Brisbane defeating Manly. And then more importantly again, what about Terry Madison and Glenn Lazarus? Will we see them again this year?